I'm taking it. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart the hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's Tom goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent, he's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me, because at least that lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no, he just, Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing at all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes, tell me, Mrs. Wake. <laughs> Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Rudolph Lane's case is interesting. He was completely blocked, and frankly, I was about to discard him as useless. I'm buying that. I was tailing Wheeler, and this is the only place he could have gone. That means Wake is probably there, too! Agent Nightingale. This is private property, and I will not allow you to disturb my patients. Be advised that any further communications with me are to be made through my lawyer. I don't believe this. Good day, Agent. Yeah, 